other at uh, Ashes at Master Hospital and um, I do demonstrations with um, or native medicines and <clears throat> amongst the, uh, the tribes across Canada cedar is one of the top um, highly recommended um, medications for different ailments that we have um, with our communities and <clears throat> for me it's um, it's very powerful and um, I use it quite a bit with my uh, medicines. One of the things uh, that I use it for is I was told um, because I'm a chef I did a lot of uh, lots of uh, cooking and baking and I had carpal tunnel in my wrists and it, it was very painful and uh, they said that um, I had to have an operation. And I said, I don't want to have an operation. And I said, I'm going to cure myself or I'm going to try. So I started soaking my hands in cedar. And, and uh, I soaked my hands in cedar and I started exercising my hands by pulling them back as far as I could both hands if I was watching TV or just relaxing I still do that and uh, and I got better with uh, the cedar and uh, <clears throat> where I knew it was really strong um, my friend was dying of cancer and it, she had cancer in the fourth stage and <clears throat> What, why I, what possessed me to go get cedar and I boiled it and she was on morphine and after she woke up I, I said I would like to give you a cedar bath and okay she said it, yes I'll try anything so I put her in a tub helped her and I poured the cedar in a tub and she said, oh, it smells so good. When you boil it, it smells like um, pine saw. And uh, she soaked in there. And I said, after you get out, I said, I want to give you a massage. So I massaged her feet first, her feet and her legs. And I started um, down her, her back. And just as I got and the lower spine, I would burn my hand. It, it, she had a, a tumor in her spine. And I, I burned my hand as I went over the, when she had the tumor. And I got scared. I didn't know what to do. So after I just got her dressed and I went to an elder and I said, why did that happen? I burnt my hand every time I went to that part of her where she had the, uh, the tumor. And they said, you are gifted. If you had rubbed her back and pulled it out, you could have helped her relieve some of that pressure and uh, her pain that she had in her back. And so, after that, I did pursue uh, using this more. I knew how powerful it was. And uh, I introduced this with, oh, with the, uh, with the, uh, the doctors or the interns that are going to school here in uh, the midwives. And to me, it's very powerful.